If you're on social media a lot, then you've probably seen this effect before. That's right, that's a match cut effect and I'll show you guys how to create it using AI. But before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that I'm Lurking Visuals and I run the State Creative Store where we got all of the presets, assets and overlays that will help you elevate your music video visuals and also edit a lot faster. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to check the first link in the description, but let's get right into it. So the website I'll be using today is LTX Studio and I'm not sponsored, but if LTX see this, hit my DMs. But you can start for free by creating a free account and it is pretty limited but you can create some sick stuff so i'll start off from scratch by creating a new blank project and i used a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and i'll name the project match cut 2 because i already created a match cut but i'll start off and in here you can tell the prompt to basically like create a dollar bill laying on the ground laying flat on the ground and as the shot type i'll select from above because I want it to be from above so I can create a match cut of it from 180 degrees above so just like that I got the dollar bill laying on the ground and I think it's a cool picture I'll view it in full screen it's a really good picture it looks pretty realistic except it says time dollar and the text is pretty far all right i decided to change it to a hundred dollar bill right here which looks pretty cool and since it's a match cut i'll save this picture just download it save it as shot one and then i can press this button to regenerate into another picture please don't tell me my face cam has been like that for all this time come on now yeah i'm not re-recording that so i'll basically just download all of these and you could use the timeline if you feel like it but since i'm basically an after effects editor and i got premiere pro as well i'll probably just put them into premiere pro and create something in there so i can add some effects to make it look a little bit better but i recommend that you get like 10 to 15 of these frames and then just add them into after effects so that's basically what i'll do so now i'm out of computing seconds whatever that means but i got 10 of these pictures so it should be enough i'll just import all of them into premiere pro just like this so i got all of my pictures in here and i'll make them like one to two frames long just like that and then do that for all of my pictures okay so this is what i got right now and it looks cool the only thing that messes up is this one right here with the gum on top of my subject i think i'll put it I'll try to skip it and see what it looks like or put it at the end it looks a little bit better right now so i'll just basically copy all of these repeat it just like this so i got a sick match cut right here and yeah this is sick i'm a huge fan of this and now that we got the match cut out of the way let's add on some effects to spice it up so i'll simply just drag on an adjustment layer and if you got your own style then make sure and go for it and I'm not really sure what to add on to spice this up. I guess I could go for something dark in my opium presets pack. Just drag on a dark preset like this. This gives me some cool looks. But it also takes away a lot of what I got. So I'm not really sure. I think I'll just... I'll save this one as an option because it definitely looks good. But I'll hide it and maybe just add on something like a radial blur. And there's no radial blur in Premiere Pro without any third party plugins. But in After Effects there is. So I'll just use the universe one, turn down the radio blur to like 15 maybe, something like this. And then I can just, and some of them aren't centered, so I just gotta redo that real quick. But you'll get some cool looks with this effect. And if you wanna make sure that your pictures are centered, then all you simply gotta do is just drag one of these out, just like that, and then lower down the opacity. So you can see it on top of the other one, and then just size it up, and then resize it with the positions so you know that they're both kind of centered just like that and now if i go between them you can see that's that's pretty centered and i'll do the same with this one basically just put them on top of each other like that and now you can tell that's also pretty centered looks really good so i finally centered all of my match cuts and this is what i got right now it's a cool effect some of them put me off like this one because it's from a different angle but when you get pictures like that just go ahead and recreate them or just skip them but since it's just for this tutorial i don't think i'll change anything i'll keep it as it is maybe turn up the radial blur to like 25 or even higher if you feel like it something like this but yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also check out this in creative store if you want to support me as a creator but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace